feel like the Louisville game, we came in the game competing, and we just playing the ball, sharing, sharing, sharing together. I think that's the team that we are. So I think the first half we wasn't playing the type of team that we were. I, just, I was happy to pick the right Is that part of just being so young that you can play that good two days ago and then come out and kind of be on the opposite end? Yeah, I mean, that, that, that happens. I mean, I think that's one of our first blowouts this year. Um, I think we kind of got humbled in the first half. When did you were one for nine from the field when you took that big three to help give you guys a bigger lead? Did you realize that? Or did, well, did I anything? definitely realized it, but it was kind of like, hey, well, you know, one more miss can't hurt. So I wasn't worried about missing that last shot. You know, I was just trying to just trying to win the game. Cal said he's been trying to get you to do that. Hey, you're open. Let it fire. Yeah, he's been trying to get me to let it fire. You know, I mean, every time I kind of beat on myself every time you know, I don't shoot it, I end up, you know, turning it over or something. I kind of use that as fuel for the next play, you know, on defense, try to go get it back. And, uh, I just kind of got lost in the game, and I was just trying to win the game, so I just let it fly, and the shot, the shot fell. Shea's playing exceptional right now. Talk about just his play, two games in a row now. Yeah, Shea's trying to do what, what he does at practice, and that we see day in and day out. So I'm just happy to see it start to blossom uh, in the game. And you see his intensity. I seen him after he got that dunk in the studio. And I just, you know, how happy he was, how much uh, joy he has when he plays the game. And that kind of fuels the rest of us when we play. In the first half, you all know, fit the balls uh, were going all the other way, seemingly, and, and also the uh, rebounds, the elbows, you know, on the elbows especially, were going about to How do you all to turn that around and, uh, in the second half? Second half, we just came with, with more intensity in the second half. I mean, the first half, I think we shot like 20% or something like that, and it was still a one-point game and a half. So, I mean, I think we still were still fighting. But uh, just the things that we, we picked up on that we were lacking in the first half, which was the fighting, we kind of all came together as a team there. You know, we started sharing the ball, fighting for loose balls, started getting rebounds. And the second you see, you know, we came back and won the game. Wait, does, does kind of fact that better in this team, what do you say to Kevin right now when it's maybe not coming as easy as it was early in the year? Uh, it's just, you know, it's just part of the game. It's like saying, Kevin, you know, you can't get too high, too low on yourself. Just, just keep going. You know, it's not the end of the season. We got big games, conference play. This is where you show who you are right now. So, you know, Kevin, he's gonna be fine. I mean, Kevin, he's gonna do fights. We you know, gonna fix this during practice. I mean, we, get, we all get to compete against each other. I guard Kevin in practice, so we play against each other. And we're just gonna keep getting better. Is that how he wants you to play? Is that easier said than done? At times, there was a point in the second half where. You know, you passed up a, a three and it led to a turnover. Later on, you didn't pass up that three and, and was able to knock it down. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah. I guess it's a little easier said than done, but it's just I gotta get used to it more. You know, just playing like that. And uh, once I start getting under the flow in the game and feeling comfortable in what I'm doing on the court, it's just gonna it's gonna become easier there. Do you do you feel sometimes maybe too comfortable at times, like? You know, when you're when you're attacking and, and doing things, and he's like, "No, I don't want you to do that. I want you to be this guy." Is that because you're ready to maybe handle a bigger load? Um, I mean, I'm understanding what what he wants me to do. So, like, even when I make a mistake, I already know in my back of my mind what I had did wrong. So I try to correct that. I try to go get it back on defense. And the next play, you know, trying to just trying to get into the flow of the offense and how he wants me to play. Because I think I look better in the court when I play. What, what do you think's gotten into Shea the last two games? I mean, it seems like his game has made a, a drastic improvement. Yeah, it's just it's just confidence with Shea. I mean, he's, he does this every day in practice. He became like this every single day. You know, his defense there every single day. He plays like this in offense. We'll be on the same team during practice. And, uh, like, he's hum he's very humble. So, in the second, you know, he's in the second unit. He comes in the game and he just comes and plays his heart off. Always got a smile on. And I think that that big game is just – it was just, just the beginning for him. What do you think it says about this team that you were able to kind of hang in there and, and you guys made you know key plays down the stretch when you really needed them? Yeah, I mean, it seems we have it in us. That's one of the things. Uh, I, don't, I think a lot of people might not believe that we do, but I think we have it in us. And we showed some fight today, and we definitely have the talent. We got some.